Conspiracy theorists say the plane was hacked. Hacked? Mm. I don't know. They said our planes can get hacked. I don't know. I don't believe it. But uh, the local coverage decided to go out and find the people that were near the crash site and get with like what they saw and heard. Oh, and man on the street. Debris from an F-35 fighter jet that disappeared Sunday was found yesterday in Williamsburg County. Raymond Owens has the latest on the recovery, and he also spoke with a man who heard that jet go down. I had a chance to talk to a man who lives out here. He told me he actually heard the plane as it was flying past his house and crashing nearby, but he didn't know what it was. I'm almost <laughs> October the 6th. I'll, I'll be 72 years old. Randolph White retired from his job at the paper mill in Georgetown 10 yeah. years ago. He lives in this house with his wife in a very rural area of Williamsburg County. Well, it's nice and quiet and peaceful, and I don't, I, I don't have to worry about people don't, you know, close up tight. You know, I like space. He loves living about two miles away from where he grew up. Normally, it's pretty quiet, but on Sunday afternoon... I was in the, uh, <laughs> in, in the bathroom taking a shave, <laughs> and I heard a, a shave. screeching... Saw that between a screech and a whistle. It's the best part. <laughs> so what in the world is this? And I heard a boom. Then my whole house shook. White says he didn't realize it was a plane at the time, so he didn't call anybody. The first thought came to me. I said, well, must what is a meteorite come out of space hmm. or something? Outer From space. outer space. And I said, well, if oh, that plane, it needed to be reported. Look, the thing was flying just too low. So yesterday evening, I said, the helicopters, I was out there walking. Choppers keep flying around. I said, well, somebody must, have, somebody must have robbed a banker, <laughs> killed some people or whatever. <laughs> so I walked up there. They told me it was about, about the plane. The F-35B airplane <laughs> wreckage created an extensive debris field. The wreckage is located off Old Georgetown Road. Military security is very tight with numerous red and white signs on the side of the road that read, no trespassing. This area has been designated a national defense area. Just through the grace of God, nobody didn't get hurt. Because the church right up there, about a half mile. About a mile of Old Georgetown Road will be closed for an unknown period of time. Anything man man can malfunction. You know, so he tried to give him the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. But it, it needs to be investigated, and the public needs to know what really happened. You know, it, it, it shouldn't be kept a secret what happened. Because, you know, it could have been a major disaster. Great man on the street. Damn right. Awesome. In the bathroom taking a shave. Taking a shave. I thought for sure he was going to say taking a shit, didn't you? Well, he did too. What it sound like? I said, what in the world is this? <laughs> they, did they ever give his name? Yeah, Travis Randolph or Randolph White or something like that. All right. Should we call him just to see if he'll make that sound again? Yeah, yeah. I have a couple numbers for him. We can give it a shot. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. It's worth a try. I want to know if he took a shit, too. Taking a shave. Taking a shave, that's a good Must term. have meant taking a shit. But he corrected himself that quick. Yeah, could, could have been. I want to congratulate him on that, if nothing else. And Brandon, you're right, the plane did fly. I can't figure out how long it flew for, but it did fly after the pilot ejected. But the big problem was they, the transponder wasn't working, and that's, that's what they didn't, couldn't figure out. Like, why isn't the transponder working? What's his name again? His name is Randolph. Randolph. Hello. Hi, is Randolph there? Yes, he is. Who's calling? This is the uh, Drew and Mike show. We're calling. We saw him. He was a witness to the uh, the plane that uh, that went down. Hold on. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Randolph. This is Drew calling from the uh, Drew and Mike show in Detroit. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Great. We saw your interview about the plane. And I got to tell you, uh -huh. you are the best witness possibly ever. You did such a good job describing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we had a question for you. When you said you were taking a shave, did were you about to say I was taking a shit and you said shave just to be clean? No, I'm a shave. <laughs> oh, okay. I've never heard anyone say taking a shave before. <laughs> huh? Huh? Is that how? I guess that's how you say it. Anyway, we love this. Can you repeat the sound that you made that it sounded like? Because that was a that was a really good sound effect you made. You wanted me to repeat the sound that I made. Yeah, the, yeah. Way, the, the way that the way you made that sound. 
Now you see, you are from what now? Where <laughs> from, are you from? From Detroit. We do show. Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, yeah, Detroit, Michigan. Hell yeah, yeah. Motown. A Motown. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. No, we just like the way you did that sound effect, and wondered if you could do that for us. Well, I I, I tried, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. But you know, like I say, it was it was a a, a high pitched screeching sound. It, it, it sounds something like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's so great. <laughs> Randolph, what's your background? So how long? You retired 10 years ago, and then you have you just always lived down there? Yeah, I basically mostly live uh, here in, 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 uh, in Waynesboro County. You know, I worked at, you know, at the paper company for 39 oh, years. Wow. What, no. you, know, and I, you know, and I retired in 2013. What did you do at the paper company? Well, I work on the paper machine. We have, you know, make paper for all kinds of paper. Oh, okay. What, what's the name of the company, by the way? I used to work in the paper business. Huh? What, what's the name of the company you worked for? Uh, international paper. Oh, probably IP. Probably the largest one in, in, in the world, probably. Yeah, they're big. They're yeah. huge. Yeah, I, I used to yeah. sell. I used to sell corrugated boxes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we used to make them too. Oh, you yeah, have I a corrugated under the paper company. Cool. Out of Georgetown. What if Georgetown, you guys cross South paths? Carolina. What's that, Mark? What if you guys actually crossed paths before? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I've been out of the business a long time, and yeah, but he's been he, out for ten he's years. He's in it for thirty-nine. I know. No, that's that's. I bet that's a really good job. They they treat you well at IP. Oh yeah, yeah. Treat me good. Good. Very good. Yeah. No, that's a good business to be in. What'd you do before that? Uh, well, really much of nothing. I went to uh, I went to school. I went off to school. I went to college for four years, and after I finished college, that's it. In '73, I went to uh, in a paper company in '74. Oh wow. Oh wow. What'd you study in college? Uh, most of the social studies, you know, and uh, but they, you know, like I say, back then, most back then the teachers teachers weren't making making that much money, especially in the South, anyway. Mm, yeah. And so I decided to go into paper business. No, that's good business to wow. be in. Well, uh, no, we yeah. really enjoy, we really enjoyed your interview. You were uh, you were a real star. I got to tell you, did did your family get to see you on TV? <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of my family <laughs> saw me on all kinds of stuff. What did they, they say to you? Did they say you're kind of a ham? <laughs> well, we just we just laugh and have fun over that. I tell you the truth about it. That's what I thought. You no, have, it was you fun. Have, yeah, you have yeah, to be the most. Yeah, yeah, we just laugh and have fun about it. Everybody in Williamsburg County must know you now, right? Or have, have at least seen it? <laughs> if they if they did, they, they, uh, they know me now. <laughs> Everybody's calling you a TV star. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Big Shot Randolph. <laughs> well, listen, we really enjoyed talking to you. I just wanted to see, hear you do that sound effect again. That is, boy, you are That's good at crazy. that. I don't know yeah. how you make that noise. But um, anyway, we sure appreciate your time. Thank you, Randolph. Okay. You have now, a good one. I'm your show now, so I'm making two and in your show. Oh, it's Drew and Mike. If you Google Drew and Mike Drew, show. Drew. Okay, Drew and Mike. Okay, yeah. Drew and yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I think I heard I heard that before. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have. It's a big yeah. show. Drew yeah, and Mike. Yeah, yeah. Google Drew and Mike iTunes, and it'll come up. We'll put you in the description. Okay. 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 All right. Thanks so much, Randall. Okay. Randolph. Okay, you're welcome. Right. Have a good one. See ya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said, what in the world is this? <laughs> he'll, was, get, he'll get to see his he'll get to hear his whole performance <laughs> on TV followed by his interview with us that's great you should have put him in the description so he can find himself <laughs> description he should be the cover <laughs> that guy that's a great picture man he's a cool cat